1,500 metre away at the Zanapec 10. Now looking to the front of the field, he glided to Laney, who was our race winner here this time last year. She had an event with Kayla McKnight, and they're going to slot in behind the pacemaker and Karina Cleveland through the early stages. So McKnight, the Commonwealth Games representative, ran a 408 in Sotville, France, earlier this year to move up into the top 10 all-time performers in the Australian rankings for this event. But it's Cleveland that's running, going to lead them through to the first 300 metres, setting a good tempo at the front of the field. Kelly Hetherington moving into second place now on the outside of her. It's Delaney in the end Swiss colours. And Eric Fountain, the Commonwealth Games representative from 2006, to sitting in behind the pacemaker in Cleveland. So Fountain, Hetherington, Delaney, McKnight. Back through the field it goes. But it was Delaney that won this race last year. will be looking to repeat it again. It was a slight upset over McKnight. But they're our top runners this year. Delaney's got a 4-14-5-2 to her credit. Karina Cleveland but doing a sterling job there, setting the pace. And Fountain looking to post a very strong early season form time. Kelly Hetherington in the third place at the moment. A finalist over 800 metres at the Australian National Championships earlier this year. And also a medalist at the Victorian Championship. So it's Cleveland. Back to Fountain, Hetherington, McKnight and Delaney to hold your top three through these stages now. But running very strongly, just starting to string out the field now with that leading pack of four hanging on to the pace that Cleveland's setting. So they'll come into the home straight for the second to last time. And it's Cleveland holding from Cleverington back to Fountain, Delaney. And Kayla McKnight just to her inside and is starting to make her way back through the field now. Looks like the Queenslander and Caitlin Simpson. So it's Bouncing, Hetherington, Delaney, McKnight still there as well, moving quite nicely. Simpson just trying to get onto the back of them now. So we're inside, 800 metres remaining now and doing a great job at the front. Karina Cleland, she just steps off the track now, so Erica Fountain will take up the running. And doing a very good job at that. So McKnight now takes over from Fountain and Delaney, and then Hetherington and Simpson. So just over a lap to go. McKnight leading. So we're entering into the stretch now to take the ball. It's going to be Kayla McKnight. She represented Australia at the Commonwealth Games. It was the first senior national team after representative duties at the World University Games. She currently sits in our top 10 all time. Ninth fastest time overall. 3.12.71 will be the time at the bell. Delaney chasing after her and Fountain still just in contention with Simpson and Hetherington just dropping off the pack now. But it's McKnight back from Delaney with Fountain just starting to lose touch down the back straight. Got a good lead, hasn't she? McKnight about three, four metres in front of Delaney and then about seven or eight metres away in third place Fountain and then Simpson's gone through to fourth but McKnight looking a winner with 200 to go, five, six metres in front of Delaney, ten metres to Fountain, six metres away then to Simpson. Stretching it now McKnight. So the time now getting up towards 3.55 and McKnight six, seven metres in front of Delaney about 10 metres away then to Fountain and Simpson, a real chance to get third. But a clear-cut lead here to McKnight halfway up the straight. Leads by about 10 metres over Delaney. So McKnight finishing off very strongly. She made the move to the front at the bell and will continue to accelerate away. She's going to take victory this year over Brady Delaney. 4.18.73, solid early season time. Delaney will take third. Simpson will finish quickly in the third place. Hetherington back to Fountain will round out the top five. And our winner for this event, it's Kayla McKnight.